Hi everyone, I'm just going to start before I get into the video proper by doing a little bit of an apology to all the people that subscribed because I've been away for about three months. Um, life got in the way a bit and I lost a little bit of motivation but hopefully things will be back to normal and I shall get out again with the camera making some more videos. So I'm going to hand over to me over there for the video proper. Thanks very much me for that lovely introduction. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out with a macro lens. It's not something that I'm particularly great at. Um, hopefully I'll find something of interest and I can share it with you later on. So it's quite late in the afternoon, so for that reason, that's why I've decided to do a macro video this afternoon, and I've stayed very close to where I live. I'm very fortunate to live in a lovely part of the world with this great woodland right on my doorstep. Um, and a very short walk has brought me right into the middle of nowhere, and because of all the recent rain that we've had, everywhere is very green and very overgrown. So. I'm going to keep my eye out for some really nice macro shots. I have found some ferns that I quite like and so I've just taken a quick shot. Um, what I did was I angled the camera up underneath the ferns to take them so they're backlit and I've got some of the canopy in with um, the fern. So it makes for quite an interesting artistic um, kind of shot. Um, I'll put it on the screen just to give you a look. Um, but I'm going to relocate because I'm actually next to quite a lot of standing water and I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. So I'm going to relocate somewhere else because it's getting quite painful. <laughs> So I've managed to get away from all those mosquitoes. Not one of my better plans going taking photographs near standing water in shorts. Um, that's one for the um, memory banks to not do that again. Um, but what I'll do is I'll find somewhere else that I can take a nice shot and then I'll talk you through some of the camera settings and some of the equipment that I've got with me today. So I'm just wandering along looking in the hedgerows at the moment, just trying to find an interesting macro shot. Uh, it's quite difficult because you've got to train your eye to look for things that you don't normally look for. You're looking for minute details, whereas a landscape photographer you usually look for things on a much grander scale. So it takes a lot more thinking about and you're trying to do something that you don't normally do. And just at the moment I'm seeing an awful lot of green and not a lot of interesting stuff. Let's just have a little look at the equipment I've brought out today. Um, to take close-up macro shots you do need a few bits of specialist equipment and the, probably the main thing is the macro lens now there's lots of technicalities that I'm not going to get into on this video about a macro lens but in very simple layman's terms a macro lens allows you to focus at a much closer distance and it allows the images on the sensor to be much bigger whereas if you've got a normal lens, quite often the lens will require that you are maybe 50 or even 100 centimetres away at least before it will focus. Whereas with this particular lens, which is a 105mm Nikon lens, I can probably focus to within about 10 centimetres. Um, and so it's much better for taking close-up for photographs. The second thing that... Uh, is important is to make sure that your camera is very steady so I've got a tripod and I've got my cable release 
as well to try and get as little um, camera movement as possible because when you zoomed in that close the very very tiniest bit of camera shake can ruin an image. Taking pictures in macro requires different camera technique and the main reason is because you get such a small depth of field and basically what that means is only a very very small amount of the image is going to be in focus. Um, you could have as little as three or four millimeters of sharp focus in a macro shot so focusing is critical and for that reason I tend to always use manual focus. Another thing that can really spoil a shot is if the actual subject is moving so if you're taking a picture of a grass stalk or um, a nettle as I was trying earlier the wind can move even if it's only very slight the wind can move that object in and out of focus so it provide it makes an extra challenge and sometimes you've either got to find a way of holding that object still or take several shots and hope that one of them will be in the correct place or just have a lot of patience or go out when it's not very windy. <laughs> One technique that you can employ to try and help with the depth of field issue is to try and make sure that the object is all in the same plane of focus. Now basically what that means is you want to try and get as much of the, much of the object as possible the same distance away from the lens. Now that's not always very possible at all. But if you have some parts of the object that's closer to the lens and some that are further, those parts are going to be out of focus. So I've set up this shot here to take this flower. And what I've tried to do is the majority of this flower is in this plane. And the lens is perpendicular to that plane. So that I've tried to maximize how many of these flowers are in focus. The final thing to think about is the camera settings themselves. So the first thing is the aperture. Now what you need to do is you need to close the aperture down as much as you possibly can, probably to something like at least an f11 to give yourself the maximum depth of field and also then try and get the shutter speed up as fast as you can to try and freeze any movement that might occur within the um, object. Another little tip that you could use, instead of rotating the focus wheel, then you can get the same effect by actually moving the camera back and forward to bring the object into the correct focal plane. And this can save quite a bit of time and sometimes, as with this shot, it takes a little bit of trial and error to just get the um, object in the right place. But eventually, you might just get it in the correct place and get something that's in focus. So I've decided to come back home. Um, I've got a few shots that I'm reasonably pleased with, so you've seen those already. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spend another half an hour just pottering around the garden to see if I can find anything else. There are some thunderstorms forecast very shortly so I don't want to be too far away from home but anything that I do get while I'm pottering around the garden I'll put in a little montage now. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you do, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.